Hello there, it's Jeff again, and I'm back with three Boot Lego minifigs. These uh, are Marvel, and they're Marvel zombie figures. And the thing is, on these, they have a little product there. It says WM Blocks. So I guess that's the company that put this out. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to build the three of them here on camera while I talk with you folks. Let's see, get my little, my little uh, razor here to cut this open. There we go. Okay, well, the first one appears to be Zombie Captain America. So we will uh, get him situated. <laughs> Let's see here. Oops, of course it fell out, right? Yeah, it's early in the morning here in Maine at the beginning of uh, June, beginning of June. It is a uh, Saturday. get his uh, shield in his hand. Mm -hmm. oh. These can be... Uh, I always have trouble getting weapons and stuff to stay in their hands. I've always had that problem. Take a look at him there. Zombie Captain America. You can see like his uh, his boots missing and he's all battle damaged and eaten up and rotten up. So I'll put him over here. Oh, we got an extra hand. Let's start with the next one. I ordered four of these. Only three arrived. Uh, so they're giving me a refund for the one that didn't get put in the package by accident. Oh, look what we got here. We have, this is Iron Man. We got a zombie Iron Man. Okay, so we got, oh, mon do. We got little pieces of stuff here. Okay, we got some sort of a flight pack thing, but I'm going to put the arms on first. I usually have better luck putting the arms on first before I put anything on the back. Oh, hear that snap in? That's that quality. <laughs> Boot Legos, man. But you know what? Honestly, I do like it when they snap in. It means they're not coming out really easy. I mean, you're going to have to fight to get them out. There you go. That pressed in there pretty good, too. So we will... Uh... Mm. There we are. Okay, now I'll take the head off and put on the... Uh... I guess it's a flight pack, I'm I think. Yeah, that's how that goes, right? Or is it, is it this way? Oh gee, I can't tell. I can't tell how it goes on. I don't really know. I'm gonna assume that it goes like this because that seems to be more like a wingspan on the back but it's always something I can take apart if I have to now this hair does not look like Tony Stark it's it's brown hair I mean that's not Tony Stark hair at all but uh, for now we'll just uh, deal with it so I'm wondering what this these little things are I don't understand what that is don't know what this is at all. Well, I think this is a weapon of some sort. But as for this, that little thing, I don't know what that goes to. I don't... 
I don't know what it is. I'm gonna just put it over there. I don't know what it is. And if anybody knows, let me know. And I'll assemble it the right way. But for now, this is what I have. Zombie Iron Man Tony Stark with the wrong hair. <laughs> okay, we got one more. Alright, who do you think it's gonna be, huh? <laughs> Who do you think it's going to be? Well, this one is Thor. Zombie Thor. Can a, can a, a mi uh, mythical god turn into a zombie? I mean, he's even got a black... Well, it's black and red. See, it's two-tone. Or is that two capes? No, it's, it's one. It's one. Oh, he's got Stormbreaker right here. All right, let's get him together. Oh, yeah. That went right in there pretty good. Oh, snap. Snap right in there. I used to have some books about the, the Marvel Zombies characters and stuff. I guess, the, well, from the books I used to have, they, the Marvel Zombies started off in the Ultimate Universe. So I'm gonna put it with the red side out. Oh, I hate I hate these uh, dual hole capes. I prefer when they make just one hole to thread it through. I remember years ago I had a uh, a Green Lantern figure where he was his evil version Parallax or whatever the name is. I think that's what it was. And I had so much trouble putting on the cape it was like I was getting very upset because I no matter what I did it would just keep popping off and popping off and popping off oh here we are with another weapon that doesn't want to go in his hand I hate putting accessories for these characters I really do okay here is zombie Thor let's line them up here and there is the bunch of them. You got Iron Man, Captain America, and Thor. And they're all zombies. <clears throat> they have some different zombies. I've got them in my cart on the website. So I'm thinking of maybe ordering some more of the zombies. I mean, they weren't even a dollar each. They were like 80 cents each. So if you figure the average real Lego minifigure goes for like five bucks. I mean, for three dollars, which is less than the cost of one figure for a real Lego, I got three boot Legos. Well, the quality is not the same. Well, you know what? It doesn't feel that, these ones don't feel that bad. The plastic seemed okay, and the parts snapped together pretty good, and for display, they're fine. I mean, I'm not gonna sit on the floor and play with them like a, a child. I use them for display to make little scenes and just for the fun of it. So again, you know, boot Legos, Legos. It's to me, it's like people that you that work with model trains or models or they glue them together or like puzzles or whatever. Everybody has their own hobby. So, anyways, these are the three boot Lego Marvel zombies that I got in the mail. And I will talk to you next time.